Hello guys, welcome to e-mini project. In this mini project, we'll make time-lapse videos using Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. So what all things we'll need in this mini project? We'll need a Raspberry Pi board, Raspberry Pi camera, micro SD card, micro SD card reader, 5V to embed USB supply. We'll need an Ethernet cable, and we'll also need laptop and camera stand is optional. On the software side, we'll use features like Nmap, SSH, SCP and Python 3 of Raspbian JC and we'll use open short video editor to convert image sequences into time-lapse videos. To download data version of Raspbian, go to raspberrypi.org, click on download tab, click on Raspbian, then finally click on download zip. Once download completes, insert micro SD card in your computer using micro SD card reader. Now we need to write downloaded Raspbian image on our micro SD card. To do that, follow this link. It contains instructions to write Raspbian image in SD card for Windows, Mac and Linux. Depending on your OS, you can use any one of these instructions. Once done with that, insert micro SD card in your Raspberry Pi and connect Raspberry Pi to network of your PC or laptop using Ethernet cable. And finally, turn on the Raspberry Pi. Now we need to find the IP address of Raspberry Pi. You can follow one of these two methods. One uses Linux nmap command that I used in my previous video and other uses a USB to serial converter. Now we will access our headless Raspberry Pi using its IP address with the help of SSH command. First thing to do is expand its file system. Do sudo raspberry-conf expand file system. Then exit our configuration menu and it will ask you to reboot the Raspberry Pi. Reboot Raspberry Pi. Once it reboots again SSH into Raspberry Pi and type tf command and we will be able to see that we have 11 gb of available space. Next we need to enable camera for raspberry pi. Again type sudo raspberry-config to enable camera and exit configuration menu. And finally turn off raspberry pi. Now insert your raspberry pi camera strip into csi connector on raspberry pi. Ensure firm joint and finally again turn on raspberry pi. Now, with all the things in place, let's look at the code. We are importing classes from the respective packages. While one statement puts the rest six statements in infinite loop, which statement create camera object for Pi camera class every time it gets executed. These two statements set resolution and framework. They sleep for five seconds, and then camera dot capture function captures an image with the name tag as image followed by timestamp and we again sleep for the rest of the 5 minutes. So here is our simple code. Exit the console using Ctrl X and execute the code using Python 3. Now instead of executing script manually using Python 3 command, we can put the script inside rc.local file so that every time Raspberry Pi boots up it will start executing the script. Type the execution command just before exit 0 and don't forget to put ampersand at the end as our file contains infinite loop. Exit the console using Ctrl X and go to the area where you are putting your images and type scp command in the format shown on the screen to transfer all the images to your host computer. Once all images are on your host computer, you can use any video editor to convert your image sequences into time-lapse videos. I used OpenShot. First set time you want to allot to each image frame. Then import all the required images into your video editor. And then add all those images into your timeline. So these are simple steps that you need to follow. And here you can view the preview of your video. Finally, save the video by exporting it in whichever format that you want to save. So there you have your time-lapse video. Enough electronics, now sit back and enjoy the video.
that's all for this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel like and share this video and as always thanks for watching